What's up, SHIB fans? SHIB Army, welcome into the video. Let's talk about it. I want to talk about the retail Shiba Inu holders in this video. Now, this is going to be very, very important. If you guys hold crypto, if you hold Shiba Inu, if you want to know what's going to happen with SHIB, make sure you stick around to the end of this video. I'm going to give you guys my thoughts and comments. And if you're new to the channel, this is a perfect time to do so. We do talk crypto every single day right here, uh, pretty much multiple videos a day covering all your favorite cryptos. Make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, and let's talk some SHIB. Now, this is what's going on, okay? This is what's going on. We've seen the Shiba Inu retail traders exiting the market. Now, what that means is we've seen the amount of small wallets. We talked about, uh, we talk about the whale wallets a lot on this channel. Well, let's talk about the little guys, okay? We've seen the retail traders exiting uh, lowest kind of number that we've seen, the lowest level since 2022, okay? So I'm gonna talk about it, but I do wanna preface this video by getting into the SHIB chart. Uh, you can see right now SHIB trading hands at 40131. Uh, so we've taken back that zero, but we still have not got back to uh, these springtime, uh, early spring uh, highs that we've seen on the year where SHIB was up 85.7% as we were at uh, looking at the last 365 days. Uh, we can pull up that number and you can see right now SHIB was at that 40354 mark. A lot of people thought we were going to break through and we would see eventually we were halfway almost to all time highs. Uh, that was very, very impressive, very fascinating, uh, but still ranked 13th in market cap, $7.7 .7 billion. Uh, we need to have a lot more of the retail back in the SHIB. And I've talked about this a lot here on the channel and why this is so important. Well, guys, here it is. This is the big news for you guys. The meme coins are diluted, right? We have over 10 meme coins in the top 100. Back in 2021, 2022, when SHIB was at all time highs, it was SHIB and Doge, okay? And that's just putting it simple. It's simple math, right? The pie is split into more pieces. It's gonna obviously dilute Shiba Inu and it's not so much the retail is exiting crypto possibly, but more so they're getting into other meme coins, right? Meme coin traders are specific to the market. They have a specific goal. They wanna make a lot of money in a short term. Uh, they're sticking away from the more traditional way of finan uh, finance and how that works. Uh, they're getting into volatile assets. They're looking for that big pump, that big gain. And right now with some of the small caps out there, and you know we talk about these $100 million cryptos that are just having explosive growth, people want in early and they wanna get out. They wanna ride the wave. Uh, you can call it what you want. You can call them scams, pump and dumps. I don't really care what you call, call them because they make me a ton of money um, and that's kind of how I play it. So I, I do have a different set of crypto that's available for trading. Uh, when we talk about some of the larger caps and that's something where we talk about the blue chips, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, XRP, Solana, right? I love all those cryptos. I, I believe in them. But meme coins, Dogecoin, SHIB, uh, as well as some other ones, there is a different discussion to be had. And that's what we're gonna talk about right here, right now on the channel. And I talked a lot about it, but I do wanna remind you guys, this is not financial advice. These are just my thoughts as it relates to crypto. But right now we're seeing the small wallets drop to the lowest level since 2022. Now, it's been very, very rocky, very turbulent, and the market uh, is performing in a way that's echoing that sentiment because we're seeing a lot of volatility with Shiba Inu. They're lagging below a lot of meme coins in terms of returns. Uh, Dogecoin has been poorly performing. No catalyst for them. Elon Musk kind of throws them on, their, on his back, uh, and that's basically all, all we have to go on in terms of Doge. But SHIB, we have Shibarium, and that has not seen legs like we want it to. I do believe in a lot of the SHIB projects. We've talked about K9 a lot on this channel. Uh, they have really long-term ambitious goals. I believe in that kind of Shibarium ecosystem play. I think it's a lot bigger than SHIB when you look at what they are gonna bring to the table, but that's just the name one, okay? But within the 30-day average trading returns, we've seen that down for Shiba Inu, long-term or down 31.7%, and per sentiment, that data has position the token for potential gains once we see Bitcoin stabilize and altcoins can regain momentum. Uh, we've talked about the presidential election ad nauseum on this channel for the United States and how much that's gonna play a role, okay? And I do truly believe that, okay? I think that the sentiment is that if Donald Trump is elected, Bitcoin sees 100,000 potentially. If Kamala Harris is elected, we, we could see 30, 40,000 for Bitcoin and God have mercy on the price of Shiba Inu if that does actually happen, okay? But signs of relief have been kind of coming across. Wallets now holding less than 1 billion SHIB, okay? That accounts for a smaller share of the supply. That is the lowest level of 2022. That means that a lot of those smaller holders have exited the market. Larger wallets now holding over 1 billion SHIB dominate the supply. So the whales are in firm control of Shiba Inu, and that suggests a substantial level of 
Um, not just FUD in terms of people saying FUD against SHIB, but there's just a lot of fear, a lot of uncertainty, and a lot of doubt within the SHIB ecosystem. For me, I told you what I think it is. I think that the meme coins are just too diluted. There's too many out there. Uh, we've seen this evident with the social activity. You can't post about every uh, every crypto. I, I'm at the forefront of that. I struggle with that every day. I want to give you guys news and updates about every single crypto because I know you guys all have more than one crypto. Uh, but that's where we've seen social activity decline. Sentiment has declined. And this is something where we look into the reflection it's, it's of what this actually means for the price. There's a lot of frustration among traders. And smaller retail participants, you know, they're a little bit more uh, flighty. Um, they hundred dollars means a lot more to those traders than it does to some of the larger whale holders and that's why i think we have all this volatility so if we do see shib in the future seeing a lot of gains right this is what's going to come down to debate we need retail back into shiba inu okay and it's going to take that to launch the price without that we have nothing okay the whales will jump ship they'll get into the next project shib whales are huge um i've had the privilege to meet a few of them they are huge 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 holders of Shiba Inu, okay? Um, but for us, that's kind of what we have going on. Um, the data has been a little bit more positive for other meme coins, but Shiba Inu it has not had really any steam coming about, and that's why I think a lot of retail traders are jumping ship, okay? And that's kind of how I, I word it. I think they're jumping ship. They're getting into these smaller caps, these launches, and that's okay. You can make money in those cryptos, and, and I just want to make this video because I, I have to say it I have to talk about what's going on and I have to tell you guys uh, they're not going to be kind of reluctant to jump back in the SHIB unless we get something going on that front where SHIB gets in the news and right now put it frank Shibarium is just not cutting it so these are the challenges that lie ahead for Shiba Inu um, there's a lot of volatility in the short term and long-term traders like we talked about some of the numbers over 30 percent down uh, within these longer term monthly outlooks for SHIB so we need to see it we need to see more accumulation we need to get retail back into the fold and that's kind of where we've saw pretty much since pepe coin came about um that's really when we started to see this shift where um it's not just doge and shib and that's been really impacting i think the flow uh, of of money and trades and and the volume uh, within shiba inu right it's very hard for shib to go you know three four five x when you have to make a decision back in 2021 2022 you didn't really have to make a decision. It was just Doge or SHIB, or a lot of people in some in cases b bought both, and they both had gains, okay? Uh, but right now, as the way the market's playing, uh, it's now a choice between about 10 to 12. So that's just my thoughts. Uh, you're welcome to have your own. Uh, please let me know in the comments, what do you guys think? What are your views on this? Do you agree with me? Um, and what's it gonna take for Shiba Inu to get back into uh, territory where we, we rival that 404 level uh, and talk about you know approaching all-time highs. So appreciate you guys. As always, make sure you subscribe on your way out. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.